hello everyone in this video i am going to teach you how you can fetch some data from internet so fetching data using api is one of the biggest part for building some front-end application like uh, vue.js or even Next.js. so now the thing is i just have to go to pages and i'll just create one uh, file named github.view so this file also will have template and i'll just type a h1 github users and i'll save it once i save it i can directly go to slash github and uh, immediately github users will be displayed here the title next what we can do is uh, we can go to this uh, script tag and uh, add it also just make sure when you are adding script tag in Next.js, uh, just use it as setup and uh, i don't know if you guys knew this before but if we go to api.github.com slash users we can see github user details this is like lots of users are available their details we can see what we can do is we can make api request to this particular url using nash.js project and display it in our github users page so this is simple api request you might already know or you might have already learned it if you didn't we are going to display github users in this particular page so without delay let's just go here and type const data is equal to use fetch and in Next.js, use fetch is auto imported so you don't have to import it from somewhere so i'll just paste this particular thing that mentions https colon slash slash api dot github dot com slash users so now this data will contain all the user details which is available in this particular page so i'll just rename this particular data to users so now in order to display users or display one by one the data i'll just create one div and inside this particular div i'll just use some vue.js specific method to display the data that is v for and inside v for we can type user in users and i can just type h not h1 h2 and here i can type something like a user dot login and if i just save it and go here we can clearly see all the users which are available in this particular page and as we can see here whatever the user name is available that is the login that will be displayed in this particular page we can even display something like p tag id is user dot id and if i just save it it will display id also and regarding displaying the name i think we can't display it if it's just doesn't exist so we can do something like a user question mark dot name and if i just save it it will display name for whomever has the name i don't think here people have name in this particular page but if name exists then we can display that also so that's how you can fetch one simple data in this particular page also you can fetch a single data also if you want i'll just create another copy of this particular thing and name it something like github user and uh, i'll just remove this particular v4 and uh, here i can directly display the name of the user user dot name and in order to display it we can do something like uh, here instead of slash users we can type a user slash username my username is mshanoi so if you go to your github account you will also see your username and here i can do something like data is user and save it and if i just go to github dash what did i name it as dash user so dash user and if we go here it will display my name so you can display more details also something like user question mark dot blog and if you see this here it will display my website and uh, the thing is if you go here and type something like m shanoi it will display all the details which is available so if i just want to select something like uh, maybe bio we can directly use that particular bio so if i just press uh, p tag and here uh, user question mark dot bio and if i save it uh, immediately it will display whatever the github bio i have at the moment so that's it for this video guys we were able to fetch some data from github and we displayed it using some vue.js mechanism that is v4 and see you in the next video bye bye